guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all extremely well. So for today's video, I'm gonna share a six month update on my YSL collage bag with you guys. I'm gonna let you know some pros and cons, some things I've noticed that I don't like that much and some things I love about it. I'm gonna let you know about wear and tear and just kind of my experience with this bag over the past six months. And I'm also gonna share with you guys what's inside this bag currently so you can kind of get a good idea of what all fits inside this bag and as always if you're new here welcome I'd love it if you considered subscribing I make new videos every Sunday and I'd love to have you here let's start off with the measurements of this bag which I have written down on a piece of paper because if I wouldn't have I would have probably forgot and I just got these measurements from the YSL website so this bag is 12.5 inches wide 7.8 inches tall and 3.3 inches deep so this is just what it looks like I'm sure a lot of you already know and it opens with kind of like a magnet and then it has a flap and then when you open it you have a large compartment in the front a zippered compartment in the middle and then like a smaller compartment in the back and then when you turn the bag around you have another just open big compartment in the back where you can you know put your items into if you wanted to now First off, I'm gonna go through everything that's in this bag so you can get an idea of what all fits in it. I don't have a lot of stuff in this bag right now, but more than I would usually carry. I'm getting ready to go on a trip, so I kind of pre-packed it a little bit. I'm still missing a few things that need to go in here, but I am gonna be taking this bag with me on the plane um, just as a personal item. It's big enough for me and it fits everything that I would need. It's just a short flight. So yeah, the first item that's in here is a pair of headphones because I need them if I'm going to be watching a movie or listening to music while I'm flying. Then I have a hairbrush in here because if I don't brush my hair, I will be a naughty mess. Like I will have knots and it, it would just be bad. Then I also have a pack of face and hand wipes, which I always need as well to just kind of wipe my hands or wipe like handles of things down. I have some Tic Tacs and my wallet. And I'm moving on to the back. I don't currently have anything in the zippered compartment, but I think I'm gonna be putting like a little makeup bag in there with some powder and stuff like that. So then in the third compartment here, I have my Celine sunglasses and a hair tie, which I always need as well. Another pair of headphones and then tons of lip products. So I have this organic Honey Farm uh, lip balm, which is really good. I got it at like a local market. And then I have a Kapari Lip Love, which is almost like a lip gloss. And this stuff, oh, I love it so much because it literally smells and tastes like coconut. And it's not sticky either, so it's really nice. And then I have a Chanel lip gloss, a Chanel lipstick, in the color in time which is really pretty and a chanel uh, liquid lipstick which is also one of my favorites and i have two lip liners by mac one is spice and the other one is nice and spicy these are like my two favorite lip liners ever and i only have that many lip products because i'm going to be traveling and those are just going to be the products like the lip products i'm going to be using while i'm away and then i also have two eyelash brushes because I have eyelash extensions and I always need to brush them. And then I don't have anything in the back compartment. So this is the bag completely empty. So let's talk about the three different ways you can carry this bag. It has a strap so you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Then it has a top handle so you can hold it like this but then you can also put it in the nook of your arm. The strap is detachable, so if you want to take it off, you totally can, and it looks really cool without it as well. The leather is 100% calfskin leather, and this is something I really wanted to talk about because I get a lot of questions about this. So when I first bought this bag, I had mentioned in my reveal video that it is a really soft leather and that over time it will definitely change the shape of the bag. And it has definitely done that. Over the past six months, it has completely changed the shape. So the sides were already really soft when I first bought the bag. They're even softer now. I hope you can see this, but it is kind of tilted forward, like this part right here. And it's almost like 
I don't know, I don't want to say caved in because I feel like that's not the word I'm looking for, but it almost, it just, yeah, it's just leaning forward this way. Right here, it has completely like changed the shape uh, of the back of the bag. So yeah, it's just a really soft leather. A lot of people will say that it adds character to the bag and you know, they really like it. There are some people that don't like it. So if you're somebody that really likes a structured bag versus a soft bag that changes in shape, then that's definitely something to keep in mind because this bag will not look the way it did when you bought it. It will definitely change over time like it will change its shape a bit over time and it will soften a lot more and another thing I noticed when I inspected this bag before filming this video which is a little bit irritating so I'm gonna try to get a close-up of this but there is some stitching on this bag and I have noticed that one of the stitchings has just kind of come loose a little bit and is sticking out like i said i'm going to try to get a close-up but that's a little bit irritating and i didn't notice that until i just inspected this bag before i was going to show it to you guys so that's yeah i don't know how i feel about that i may um take it into the ysl store to have them take a look at it i mean it's nothing major but at the price point of this bag i kind of don't think that should happen Another thing I wanted to talk about that is a little bit annoying, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just a tiny bit annoying, and it is the way this bag closes. Now, like I said, this has, like it closes with a magnet, so there's a piece up here and then a piece down here. Now, you really have to line those two pieces up for the bag to properly close, and you really gotta wait to hear that clicking sound, because if you don't, you may think it's closed, and then you go to lift it up and it's actually still open. Um, yeah, so see right now, it you think it's closed, but it's it's actually not closed. So you really have to like line it up and now it's closed. I mean, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes when I'm in the store and I'm getting in and out of my bag, it's just a little bit annoying that I have to stand there and kind of struggle to close the bag. But let's move on to some positive things. One thing I really appreciate is the fact that if you get something on this bag, you can just take a damp wash rag and wipe it right off. I think that's such easy maintenance and yeah, I just really appreciate that. And then of course, I think the bag is absolutely beautiful, even though it will change its shape over time and it already has, I still think it's an absolutely stunning bag. It fits my lifestyle perfectly. I love that you have three different ways of carrying the bag. I'm a person that uses smaller bags a lot more and I just love my crossbodies. Nonetheless, I love this bag and I use it quite a lot. I just think it adds something to your look. I don't know, I just think it's a beautiful bag. I also love how light this bag is. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's a really light bag with nothing in it, which makes it then really light even if you have stuff in it. So it's just really comfortable to carry. And yeah, that's my six month update on this bag, you guys. If you have any more questions about this bag, please don't hesitate to leave the questions down below and I will make sure to answer them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope I'll see you guys next week. Bye.